using this graphic here from Google Earth, I'm showing a road sign in England. It's the A629 road sign Keeley Bradford Brig House. That's the example point of where we'll be filming from. I conducted two video calls with friends of mine, Matt in the UK and my friend Luke in Australia. Luke's location, as shown here on the Google Earth graphic, is Lions Park in a small town called Biloela, Australia. According to what we're told from the globe model, the sun's light shouldn't be visible from these two points at the same time. Hey Matt, how's it going? Yeah, good. Fantastic. All right, uh, just doing a time check. About what time is it where you are? 21.03, so three minutes past nine. Three minutes past nine. Uh, here, what, what's your location, sir? Uh, uh, Halifax, West Yorkshire, in Bradford. One second. Oh. I'm in Bradford, West Yorkshire. There you go, and there's proof. Bradford. Keith Lee, Brickhouse, Bradford. Fantastic. All right, uh, let me see, about 9.03, Bradford, Yorkshire. Uh, let me see, here, where, where is the sun? Right about then. Where is now, down, mate? It is just in the distance. It's just over the hill. You can see it just about in the distance there. All right. That's all. Awesome. Beautiful sunset. So it's just about over the hill, but you may have the rays about still. Yep. And, and behind me, you've got darkness. That's awesome. Here, I'm uh, in Tacoma, Washington right now. Check it. I got the Tacoma Dome back behind me in the distance. And then you That's can it. see the uh, Tacoma skyline back here over the city. So that's where I'm at, and we're looking at the same sun. That's fantastic. All right. Uh, well, I appreciate you participating in this project. And uh, no hey, that's fine. Thank you, sir. You have a fantastic night. I'll see you soon. My oh, man, Luke, how's it going? Yep. Fantastic, sir. Uh, here, about what time is it? Uh, 6.06 a.m. 6.06 a.m. And what's your location, sir? I am in a small town called Biloela in central Queensland, Australia. I'm standing outside of the Calide Valley Lions Park on um, the corner of the Dawson Highway and Cooper Street. Awesome. That's fantastic. All right, so that's the time, location, and you can and see the sun out there. It's about sun, so sunrise. Sun, uh, I'm in a bit of a valley, but the sun's just coming up uh, over to the, I, from memory, I think it's about northeast, about 60 degrees. Uh, that's just off the top of my head, but. <laughs> <laughs> All good. All right. Uh, sounds good. I am currently in Tacoma, Washington. Got the sun right above my head right here. As you can see, I got the Tacoma skyline in my background over here, as you can see also, uh, and the world famous Tacoma Dome in the distance. So that's my location. So yeah, man, uh, I'd like to thank you for your participation in this project. Uh, I'll talk to you a little bit later, buddy. No worries. Notice the nice, nice uh, shadow on the moon up there behind me, also. Oh, you got the moon too. That's sick. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right, take care. All Talk right, soon. Luke. Stay flat. You too. Yes, sir. Always. All right. Later. In this quick example, I use my globe and a flashlight to simulate the sun and the Earth's relative position to it. The sun is 93 million miles away, 400 times the size of the Earth at that distance and size. Then the sun's light should hit the Earth parallel, only lighting up about half of the globe. I'm going to simulate England 
at sundown and uh, I'm going to show you where Australia is relative to that point. I also show my position on the globe in Tacoma, Washington in the Pacific Northwest. And now I'll simulate the UK being in a position where the sun would be setting from their location. And now I'll shine a flashlight on Australia where Luke is, which is completely in darkness behind the supposed curvature, but there isn't any. And it's not possible on a globe because we don't live on a globe. And they even tell us when they put these stickers on the bottom of globes that globes are not meant for educational purpose, but only for decorative purpose. The earth is flat and you've been lied to. From here, spread the truth, expose the lies, and demand answers. This is the Flat Earth Offensive, and you are the resistance.